Hi there. Hello. 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 Uh, Mr. Ahmed, I've had a memory blank and I can't actually remember how to use if statements. It's okay. more basic mm -hmm. uh, to do, because uh, I, I want to make ultimately a general knowledge quiz. Yeah. Uh, I can remember all that stuff we did about variables okay. and like storing information and changing the background and foreground colours. Yeah. But uh, can you talk me through if statements and help me out, please? I can, of course. So That's an great. if statement is basically going to check whether or not something in our program is happening. And if it is, we'll do something. And if it isn't, we'll do something else. Um, so, first of all, uh, I'm going to uh, write a question. So, I'm going to use textwindow.writeline, mm. uh, and my question will be, what did the Titanic hit? Right. Now, I know the answer so, to that is iceberg. Okay, good. So, yeah. what we're going to need to do is we're going to take your answer, or whatever you've typed into the text window, read it, and store it uh, in a variable okay. called answer. Okay, so, sounds good. Uh, you should remember how to do this from last lesson. So, uh, we'll say answer equals text window dot read. So, answer being the name of the variable there. Then the if statement comes in. So, we're going to say if the answer equals iceberg. Yep. Then, and then we can press enter. Um, and you can, can you see on line four a little yeah, bit indented, it's indented there? It's indented, yeah. So, what that means is that anything underneath that if statement that's indented in. It's going that to will happen that. if they will said happen iceberg. If the okay. answer is iceberg. Fine. Correct. Uh, so if it is, if they've got it right, we want to say text window dot right line. Well done. You are correct. Some sort of nice. Okay. Message and if I fancied it, like I could that. presumably change the background to green there. Maybe yeah. If I yeah. 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 You could do something like okay. that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to run the program. See what happens. Oh dear. Uh, and you can see there that I've forgotten something. So no, it says it's expected an end if, but couldn't find one in the right place. Okay. So. I need to tell Small Basic that uh, my if statement has finished. So to do that, I just type in end if. You can see that it's gone yep. that kind of purple color. And if I press enter, it will automatically put put it yep. back uh, okay. to the start of the line. So let's try that again. And so what did the Titanic hit? Iceberg, I think it was. Okay, yeah. so let's type in iceberg and press enter. And it says, well done, you are correct. But let's say we weren't as uh, up to scratch with the Titanic as, as you are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's, let's say uh, it hit a uh, desert island. Unlikely. Something like that. Well, bit, you, yeah. you never know. Yeah. Uh, ah, okay, so the program has just finished and hasn't really done anything uh, of any real use to tell us that it's wrong. So presumably I need to have some sort of way of saying, if it says iceberg, do that. But otherwise, if I haven't said that, then say something else. Yes. So how do I do Absolutely. that? Absolutely. So uh, what we need to do is before the end if, because it's still part of uh, the if statement here, mm -hmm. uh, we just need to type in else and press enter. And you can see again, it's indented uh, in there. So else text window dot right line. Sorry, you are wrong. So now, if the answer equals iceberg, then we'll write the line, well done, you are correct. Else, so if it's not, if they type in anything else in there, uh, it will say, sorry, you are wrong. Okay, can I try and answer this one and see you what can. happens then? So what did the iceberg hit? So I'm gonna say iceberg like that. But it's told oh, me I'm wrong. Okay. I'm definitely not wrong. I've typed no, iceberg. No, you have. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the reason why that's happened is because you've typed iceberg with a capital I. Mm, good grammar. Uh, and I have said that we need to check to see if the answer equals iceberg with a lowercase i. Okay. Anything I can do about that? Uh, so we can add some some more options uh, to the if statement there. So uh, we can say uh, or mm -hmm. answer equals okay iceberg. Then presumably I could have unlimited number of ors there if I needed to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can have as many yeah. as many in there as you like. So if you just try that again. Then. Okay, yeah. So I'll say iceberg. That spelt correctly. Oh wow. And it says okay. Well done, you're and correct. if I get it wrong, let's just test that as well. So well, you said desert or dessert. I don't actually know the difference. Okay. Says, Sorry that you were wrong. That's really good. But what I can do now is because. The uh, programmers are generally quite lazy people. I can mm. just uh, copy the code that I've already got because the only real things I need to change is the question and what we're expecting the answer to be. So I can then just paste what I've just written in and just change the answers there. Oh, great. That's really helpful. Thank you. I wonder if there's any way of making it go ding when I've got it correct. Who knows? Hmm.